Hey, what's up? This is Andy from MyTechMethods.com here with a quick tip for all you iOS users out there. This is how to immediately free up a ton of space on an iPhone, iPod, or iPad. So if you ever find yourself running low on space on your iOS device, have no fear. Here's a quick way to free up a ton of space and it's really easy to do. So what you want to do is go into your settings and then tap general and then go to your usage. And here it'll populate a list of all the apps that you have installed on your device and how much space each app is taking up on your device. So once it loads, you'll see a list of all your apps here and you can see that it's listed by the app that uses the most. So music is listed first on mine because it's using up the most, 20.7 gigabytes. And what you want to do here on this list is find apps that you can delete and then immediately reinstall uh, to free up a, a lot of space. So for example, I'm not going to delete my music or podcasts, uh, but I can delete Facebook uh, because it's using up 147 unnecessary megabytes of data. So the app size right here is only 57 megabytes. That's how big the Facebook app originally is. But it's using up 147 megabytes of cached files that is unnecessary. So you can hit delete app, delete app, and it frees up 150 megabytes on mine. Yours could be more. So go through these apps and look for apps that are taking up at least 100 megabytes. And for example, all these social networking sites are a big culprit of this. They take up a lot of unnecessary space. So Instagram, each time you look at your Instagram feed, it saves cache files to your device, which it doesn't need. Uh, the app size originally is only 21 megabytes. So it's taken up 134 megabytes of unnecessary space. So I can delete this app just like with Facebook and then Vine does it bad too. So it's taking up 100 megabytes. So I'll delete this app. Now, once you delete those apps, all you have to do is go back into your Apple App Store and reinstall those apps that you just deleted. And they will download and reinstall in the same exact location that they were before. So if you had it in the folder, it will go back into that folder and you won't lose any of the app settings that you had. So that is how to free up space on an iPhone, iPod, or iPad. So go ahead and try that out and let me know how much space you freed up using that method. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more tips like this in the future. My name is Andy. Thank you so much for watching. Keep having fun out there and I will talk to you later.